October 2009 marked the 150th anniversary of the Marines' involvement at Harpers Ferry, Virginia. Marines from the Washington, D.C.-based barracks 8th and I were ordered to seize John Brown, an abolitionist attempting to incite a revolt at the Federal Arsenal in Harpers Ferry. To preserve the memory of what the Marines accomplished at Harpers Ferry in 1859, the Marine Corps Historical Company organized dozens of volunteers and National Park personnel for a two-weekend event highlighting the Marine Corps' involvement in ending the raid and seizing John Brown. Fact! John Brown did in fact protestate this raid in the town of Harpers Ferry. Fact! The United States Marines were involved to capture John Brown. Well, it's very, very important, I think, uh, that everybody have a good balance of, of history knowledge. Even people my age today don't know enough about World War I, World War II. They certainly don't know enough about the Civil War, and this, of course, predates that a little bit. History is, is doomed to repeat itself, and we can learn so much from history. The Marine Corps Historical Company recreated the raid for crowds of hundreds on each of the five days of the event. Who was John Brown? Who are these Marines? And we come up to another issue known as historical truth. Was John Brown a hero? Was John Brown an insurrectionist? Was he a savior? That's all from your point of view. The Marine Corps Historical Company makes a point of telling the historical facts of the events which occurred at Harpers Ferry in 1859. But for we, as Marines, just like today, we had to look not at his motivations, not at his ideals, but his actions. And as our part for being involved, as we do today, any person that picks up arms and uses it against the civil populace, using murder, kidnapping, seizure of property, and other deeds as such to try to force a part of the population to their way of thinking, what do we call them? Unfortunately, we do have to call them terrorists. And we as Marines, that's why we had to treat this situation. The current Marine Corps drum major, William Brown, agreed to enact the role of John Roach for the event. John Roach was the man who actually grabbed John Brown and pulled him out of the, uh, the engine house. And he was, at the time, the acting drum major for the U.S. Marine Band. Uh, historically, the U.S. Marine Band, again, 210 years worth of history, there's a lot there. As it pertains to the drum major, this is just one of those things that being the current drum major, I felt was very, very important to do. A wreath laying ceremony to honor Private Luke Quinn, the only Marine to be fatally wounded at Harpers Ferry in 1859, was attended by General Ron Christmas. General Christmas spoke on behalf of the fallen Marine. This day we honor our fellow Marine, Private Luke Quinn, for the legacy he gave us, but also because he is our brother. here today at Harpers Ferry to honor one of the Marines' very own who would die here at Harpers Ferry 150 years ago today. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Lieutenant General Ron Christmas. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. The loss of this one man was an overwhelming statistic to his buddies, his family, who knew him best. His loss crosses the chasm of time to reach into our hearts and demand, do not forget me. My life was not wasted if by, if by my story you carry on my fight to keep our country free. However, let my sacrifice be a memory that all battle, all battle comes with a cost.
The Marine Corps Historical Company has, has clearly done the study, created the uniforms, the weapons, and in fact can truly recreate the events of history from 1775 to the present. Well, there's nothing better than that. And there's nothing better than the American people to be able to see that history recreated, to understand it, because it in fact will make all of us better if we do understand our history. John Brown wanted to end slavery, and that's the most noble cause I think you could have at the time. He just went about it the wrong way. What we've done here today is show what the Marines did, what John Brown did, what the town did, and I think if people get a chance to come here and see it for themselves, see it enacted live, it's a very, very good way to learn that history.